Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update July 30th, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday and this is episode 262. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In this episode, Zhao Lu's new modern drama and Wang Yibo's uplifting story. But first, the Sleepless Princess is a costume drama starring Zheng Yecheng and Hu Yixuan and it premiered earlier today, July 30th. Here's Zheng Yecheng as Xue Yao, a cold-hearted general who sets out to investigate his brother's mysterious death. Here's Hu Yixuan as Chu Yue, an unfavored princess who suffers from insomnia and spends her time reading romance novels. Both stars are no stranger to the web costume drama world. Zheng Yecheng recently starred in Love of Thousand Years with Zhao Lusi, whereas Hu Yixuan starred in My Dear Destiny with Zhang Sifan. The Sleepless Princess is available on YouTube, no English subs at the moment. Count Your Lucky Stars is an upcoming modern drama starring Jerry Yan and Shen Yue, and they've announced the premiere date of August 3rd. Jerry Yan stars as an incredibly lucky chief editor, and Shen Yue stars as his incredibly unlucky designer employee. An accidental kiss causes them to exchange their luck. They try to reverse the effect, but somehow she ends up becoming his living servant, and comedy and romance ensues. Of course, it goes without saying, they're playing off the live together now, fall in love later trope. Here's Jerry Yan as Lu Xingcheng, the dashing chief editor. And here's Shen Yue as Tong Xiaoyou, his employee. Jerry burst onto the drama scene almost 20 years ago. He starred as the iconic Dao Mingsi in the 2001 Taiwanese idol drama Meteor Garden. Meteor Garden was all the rage when it first came out and many consider it the father of all Chinese language idol dramas. Fast forward to 2018 and a Chinese remake hits the small screen. In it, Shen Yue stars as Shan Chai, also an iconic character in the idol drama world. She and Dao Mingsi are the main couple in Meteor Garden. So Count Your Lucky Stars pairs 2001's Dao Mingsi with 2018's Dong San Chai, and that's great if you're a Meteor Garden fan. Some people, however, have brought up their age difference. He is 20 years her senior. To each their own, but you guys know my opinion on issues like this. If they're both adults, and they are, then I see it as a non-issue. The only thing that might become an issue is that because the drama was produced by Yuku, it might stream exclusively there, which means no English subs. I hope that won't be the case. Yo-Yo has the trailer English subbed on their YouTube page, so hopefully they have the drama licensed as well. I will give further updates on where to watch it with English subs. And now a couple of dramas that wrapped filming recently. Pure Heart in a Jade Pot is an upcoming costume drama starring Zhang Huiwen and Caesar Wu, and they wrapped filming yesterday, July 29th. Pure Heart in a Jade Pot is a literal translation of their Chinese name. At the moment, they don't have an official or working English title yet. Zhang Huiwen plays an aspiring thief who, after a series of comedic events, becomes a constable under Justice Bao. Caesar Wu plays Justice Bao's capable and loyal bodyguard. The two characters meet and eventually become quarrelsome lovers. Pure Heart in a Jade Pot is based on a novel of the same name, written by Lan Sishi, who also wrote Under the Power. And speaking of Under the Power, its star Ellen Rin also recently wrapped filming a drama. Miss Crow with Mr. Lizard is an upcoming modern drama starring Ellen Rin and Fair Singh, and they wrapped filming on July 24th. In the drama, Ellen Rin plays an architect who becomes a downbeat and boring person after a heart transplant. He meets one of his employees, played by Fair Singh, and she reignites his passion with her cheerful personality. Although Ellen Rin already has several drama titles under his belt, Miss Crow with Mr. Lizard will be his first starring role in a modern drama. Fair Singh, on the other hand, surged in popularity last year with the drama Put Your Head on My Shoulder. So it's off to post-production for the two aforementioned dramas. I will continue to give updates as they provide them. And before we get to Zhao Lusi and Wang Yipo updates, a quick shout out to ExpressVPN. Now whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. 
Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12-month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus Sim. Please feel at ease, Mr. Ling is an upcoming modern drama starring Zhao Lusi and Liu Te, and they recently released their first character posters. The drama follows a delivery girl who knocks over a huge company's wealthy heir with her scooter. She is forced to take responsibility, so she offers to let him stay with her, thus beginning their journey of comedy and romance. This of course makes it yet another drama to use the live together now, fall in love later trope. Anyway, here are Zhao Lusi and Liu Te as the delivery girl and the rich heir. After a slew of popular costume dramas, Zhao Lusi loses the ancient garb for short shorts as she stars in this modern drama. Liu Te recently starred in My Dear Lady, also a modern drama, this will be his second drama ever. And before I let you guys go, here's a piece of feel-good celebrity news involving Wang Yibo. A hearing impaired dancer impresses Wang Yibo and gets him emotional. On episode 2 of Street Dance of China 3, a particular contestant left a deep impression on Wang Yibo. Her name's Mendy, and despite having a hearing disability, she can dance like nobody's business. When Mendy introduced herself to Yibo, she excused her pronunciation, which sounded to me like it was a byproduct of her hearing disability. She then explained that her eardrums were damaged when she developed a fever when she was a child. And then she went on to rock the dance floor. As one of the captains on the show, Ipo had to choose dancers to be on his team. He had a tough decision to make as there was so much talent on display, but in the end, gave the last spot to Mendy. It was an emotional moment for Mendy, her supporters, and Ipo himself. Ipo later explained, Her spirit touched me. Having problems with her ears since she was small, yet she continued dancing. And she can dance really well. Wang Yibo seems to always have uplifting stories like this, whether it involves fans or medical workers or dance contestants. And good on him for that. If you guys want to watch that segment, it's available on YouTube. Just search Street Dance of China 3 Episode 2 and the segment begins around the hour and 33 minute mark. Just be ready for a whole lot of dancing and tears. And that's it for this episode. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of one of my episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.